A game was bought for millions of dollars on Roblox. There's a new Roblox update that really sucks. People are getting scammed on Roblox more frequently in a very interesting way. And so much more stuff in today's video that I want to talk about after I ask you to subscribe. Because every time you subscribe in specific, uh, I, I get really happy. It makes me really happy. Thank you for subscribing. But yeah, anyways, let's get to the news because there's actually so much stuff I want to talk about today that, yeah, it's just pretty cool. With the first story being an update to my last video because you guys know that Vietnam has not been able to actually play Roblox some isps in vietnam but like, i think most isps actually but basically you could see a tweet from two hours ago basically claiming that you know roblox is still down in vietnam and yeah they're not fixing it but obviously this isn't really a roblox issue from what i can understand it seems like it's an isp issue in vietnam which if you somehow don't know what isps are it's basically what your internet runs through and your internet usually runs through like local isps that are local to your area or your country etc etc and in this case in vietnam for some reason their isp IPs are not being allowed to connect to Roblox for some weird reason. And yeah, it's not really Roblox's fault, but it is, you know, uh, annoying. And yeah, as of today, people still can't play Roblox in vietnam if you're using certain isps very stupid honestly this is so, so dumb but now we can move on to the next story which is new and fresh and honestly not that big of a deal but it's interesting because from april 8th to may 3rd roblox will begin testing a new sort on everyone's homepage called today's picks for english language users in the u.s this pilot is the first step in awarding initial impressions to a new and recently updated experience to match them with a the right audience so basically yeah roblox is going to be adding a new game category on the front page of roblox that is apparently going to help you find cool games here's like their example that they made i don't know if bloxy news made this or roblox did but they're all ai generated and it's so weird legends of luau it's the coding language roblox is in that's genius tower of shell that one's kind of awesome i like that one obby but you're featured and blade bone these are wicked dude oh wow no roblox actually made that screenshot it's in their dev forum post that's <laughs> that's kind of awesome but yeah this is amazing this is an amazing update i think it's going to be completely awesome and i I hope that it actually gets added to the full website because dude this would be so good for discoverability and so many developers might get their first breakout game through this whole like you know new category now nobody has it yet because it's starting on april 8th uh and uh when that does start happening and when people do start seeing this you know category i'm interested to see what games are gonna pop up in it you know what i mean but now we can move on to the next story which just happens be something i forgot to talk about in my last video but basically bloxy news tweeted out this psa reports of acquisition scams roblox has received reports of a recent scam targeting roblox developers according to the reports the perpetrators contact the creators through third-party sites and offer to purchase experiences and once the perpetrators then allegedly supply creators with purchase contract after the creators transfer the experiences to them they do not provide the promised payment since these alleged scams are taking place on third-party sites roblox is unable to verify the veracity veracity i've never seen that word in my life of the allegations and is unlikely to be able to assist defrauded creators so if you're confused, let me explain what's going on here. Basically, for the past year or so on Roblox, a very, very, very popular like thing that's been going on is basically people buy Roblox games like in full. You know, if you look at a lot of companies like Voldex or GameFam, a lot of the games that they actually own were bought by people that made them years ago that just didn't really want to update them anymore. And in this case, apparently there's a bunch of fake companies that are, you know, trying to be like GameFam and Voldex and whatnot, but they're completely fake and they're just scamming people people they're getting these games and they're not paying them for them and people are just getting scammed at an alarming rate apparently because roblox had to like talk about it themselves like roblox literally made a whole dev forum post about this because it's so like crazy right now so yeah if you're a developer with a popular game and you're getting emails and like messages from people on different websites basically asking you if you would like to sell your roblox game just make sure to like do all the checks that you can and don't sign any weird things because apparently people are trying to scam people out of this stuff but in other acquisition news we have this tweet from voldex which is absolutely insane okay so yes voldex the company i mentioned in the last story actually apparently bought another roblox game now this is not fake this is not a scam they actually did buy this roblox game but basically they tweeted out we are thrilled to announce that voldex has acquired ultimate football which i think is like the top football game on roblox taking another step forward in our mission to revolutionize the ugc gaming industry ultimate football has captured the heart of millions 
millions worldwide, blah, 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 blah. Lots of yap in this tweet. But basically, the reason I'm talking about this is because this game is ginormous, number one. Let's see how many players it has right now. 4.4 thousand players, which actually is not as much as I thought. But honestly, that's still a very, 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 very big, successful Roblox game. But the reason this is such a big deal is because apparently this game was sold for millions of dollars. Like if I search up Voldex on Twitter, you can see a bunch of tweets basically claiming that this game was sold in a multi-million dollar deal, as you can see here with RBX News tweeting out that, yeah, it was it was <laughs> bought in a multi-million dollar deal. Now, we don't know exactly how much this game was sold for. All we know is that it's in the millions, which is absolutely insane. And it kind of just shows how crazy Roblox games are. Like this game with 4,000 players is being sold for millions of dollars to a company. Insane. The only other time we've really seen an acquisition like this with like the price somewhat disclosed was Bloxburg, as I mentioned in the last story, because Bloxburg was sold for a hundred million dollars, uh, I think a year or two ago. And now, yeah, Voldex has bought this game. And yeah, I guess there's another game uh, that has been sold for millions of dollars. It's Ultimate Football. Um, that's it, guys. It's insane. It's an insane story. But now we can move on to something that's a bit more important. And it's the insane, terrible UGC updates that apparently have happened that people are not happy with. Okay. So I saw this tweet yesterday. And uh, yeah, basically a new update to Roblox UGC came out. And here's like the whole rundown of, of what it is. Okay. So Lucas the Pickle said, new UGC limited update is live thinking emoji. There is a new cap on stocks where basically you can only have upwards of 3000 stock on a limited item now. So during the egg hunt, we saw like a bunch of people or a bunch of developers make UGC limiteds and they would have like hundreds of thousands of stock. But now for some stupid reason, Roblox has made it so UGC items that are limited can only have a max of 3000 stock, which is terrible, terrible update number one. But that's not where it ends. OK, because now paid limiteds will have a 20,000 Robux publish fee when making them limited. Oh, my God. So if you want to upload any sort of UGC limited it is going to cost you 20,000 robux up front now here's the catch though this 20,000 robux is you know earnable back because i think a chunk of every sale that you get on your limiteds is going to go towards giving you back this publish fee until it's completely like paid back so technically you are going to get this 20,000 robux back if your item does well now granted i don't know how well ugc items do so i don't know how fast you're going to make this 20,000 robux back but either way not a lot of people like this part of the update either and now we get to the next part, which is kind of annoying. And it's the pricing updates, because when you're now choosing a price for your limited, you are now required to match the dynamic price floor, which sucks, because if you don't know what the dynamic price floor is, it's basically running the whole Roblox catalog right now, because basically how it works is that every week Roblox items will update to actually match like a demand price. So if hats are selling more often than usual, the price will go up. And if they're selling less than usual, they'll go down. So right now, Roblox items, Roblox hats are actually like 65 robux which is pretty high i think a couple weeks ago they were actually 50 robux but now as you can see they're 65 so yeah basically roblox items prices fluctuate depending on how bad people want them and that's a really terrible update and now Roblox Limiteds will kind of match that whole thing. And that sucks. That really sucks. Now, looking at this update, it might not make a lot of sense. But either way, if you go into the comments about it, you can see a lot of people are not happy. <laughs> like, you can see this tweet right here. Oh, boy, I sure do love the new UGC update. You can see a bunch of people saying stuff like, by far the most update. Yes, this is an update of all time, guys. What the hell is this update? 20,000 Robux just to publish? This update is actually so frustrating. Yet again, Roblox continues to make it even harder to profit off any UGC. So yeah, you can just tell that people do not like this update. Uh, and honestly, I get it. Uh, you know, the only update that I think is maybe possibly positive is this fees one because you can earn that fee back, right? But everything else in this update sucks. Like this 3k stock thing on limiteds is absolutely cringe and annoying. And it's going to make it so much harder to even profit from limiteds if you only have 3000 stock, I think, right? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? And on top of this, this has started trending around Twitter and it's basically hashtag fix UGC. Where basically UGC creators are tweeting out this. The UGC percentages suck. Roblox gives UGC creators only 30% of their earnings while Roblox takes 70%. Even worse, if my item is sold in a Roblox game, I earn less than the person who sold it. Roblox's current split gives an extra 40% to themselves on top of the 30% they take just because they host our item on the catalog. And yeah, basically a bunch of UGC creators are complaining that the UGC payment rates are absolutely terrible and I agree. They, they suck. Now, I don't know if this is due to the new update. I don't think it is. I think this is just how UGC has been forever and 
now people are mad, <laughs> um, which makes sense. Anyways, that's why people are mad at Roblox right now. Um, goodbye.